And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, Dolly. it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Hey, let's <laughs> go. And What's then the another thing news, is, bro? what you say? What's the breaking news? Is that where we going? Oh, with this? yeah, we had breaking news before. Um, before we got on the pod, man, what happened, oh, man? What's the yeah, breaking man, news? Yeah, man, y'all, are getting this before it hits our show. I'm gonna make sure to say that oh, so y'all know. That way, everybody know y'all didn't copy. Y'all catching it. Before <laughs> Just give us actually, a breakdown of what happened. You, but you I, do your, so, y'all do y'all thing. <laughs> so essentially what happened was John Gibbs just let off some steam um, in regards to kind of what was happening in his life. You know, he recently just got married and different things like that. So he felt okay. like he had a story to tell. And in said story, he let everybody know that his label owner, when he was on the Christian hip hop side, did not do good business by him. He mm. said when he joined them, he thought it was a family unit. Everything was rocking as a family. But when the major started reaching out and he started getting money, he started being treated as if it was just business to the point that when he left, he was still locked in a contract where that owner, Bruce line, I'm saying it not. This is not endorsed by that's not Christian podcast (laughs) because he even said, (laughs) yeah, no problem. He even (laughs) said that. Uh, that person will re- remain nameless. Well, we know that there was only two people in the breaks, right? Yeah, yeah. And we know it what it's not his brother-in-law. A- and anybody could do the math, right? Exactly. So he said he's going to remain nameless, but that's what he said. When he got over there, the business dealings changed and Ruslan held him in a contract to where he owned his master's even while he was signed uh, to Interscope. Right. Mm. So he said he what he started doing was trying to make R&B music to keep his mind off of it. And so he wouldn't sound bitter because if he rapped like rap rap, he would sound right. bitter. Right. So it's just crazy because Ruslan is the type of person that we see on YouTube who gives all these artist tips, who's very approachable, who's very reachable. Right. And to hear something like this, to hear those skeletons come out the closet. I don't know if he ever thought that they would. Mm. Right. How, how you now, even expect that though? You know what I'm saying? Especially now with all this owning your masters talk and well, like even what Kanye has right. been doing lately. Are you and if this well, is true, you well, could, you know what? I I I can kind of understand, man, because if I if I help build your career and I invest all this time and money into building your career to the point where the majors notice you, mm-hmm. like I'm bro, like. I've invested. I want my return, bro. Like when I invest in Tesla, when I invest in Apple, I want to see some money back, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm back. not just putting I'm not putting that money in just just for fun. You know what I'm saying? And if yeah, if 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 somebody, you know, if one of you guys drops an album and I'm investing in the marketing, I'm investing in the video, I'm investing in 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 you know car rentals and hotel rentals for you to do local shows and whatnot. Ooh, I want to see a return bread. on that, man. So, <laughs> put a price tag. Put a price tag on it. Say this is what you need, X amount of dollars. You yeah, I want point. I want, I want the master, son. Yeah, but them yeah, right. <laughs> labels is different. Like they they are publishing for three years. Right, like a label right, and all like that. They, <laughs> <laughs> you knew where I was going, there. <laughs> <laughs> to a label, <laughs> <laughs> but a label, a label is giving you the upfront money. So they, it's like a loan. It's, it's like right. a loan them, it is with, with APR back. I need yep. right. I needed an interest, so right. yep. Um, I, I, yeah, we gotta hear no, Bruce go on side because you know it, I'm sure he'll probably respond in, in one of his pods. You know what I mean? So I mean, at we gotta hear both day, sides. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it doesn't yeah. matter what Bruce Line says because the fact of the matter is, if John Gibbs signed that contract, it doesn't matter how he feels. Right. Mm. It, it's it's you well signed. within his right, and that's the same thing with Kanye West. Kanye West was going off on his, you know, on everything and blah blah blah. But when he was getting five million dollars for for studio time and different things like that, it was all Gucci. Right. But now mm. because you're this empire, right. you know what I'm saying? Your name actually carries weight. Well, now they stealing from you. Now, nah, man, w- but they they invest like we said, invested before you knew who you were going to be. Everybody can say, "Oh, I knew you were going to be a star." Hey, right. no, right. it's a lot of people that we knew who were going to be a star. And it ends up like Delonte West. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So right. with that being said, like you you sign the contract. You really can't be upset if that's what the contract said. So allegedly, that's what the contract said. 
if that's what it said, you have well, no his right to stand on. His gripe is more, he thought it was a family thing, and it, and then they gave him, like, a cold shoulder, right? Is that what his right. gripe is? Yeah, essentially. So he was saying that, you know, he thought it was a family thing. You know, they moved as a family. They dialogued. He said that the whole reason why he liked being around them is because they kept him out of the lifestyle that he was used to living. Right. You know, because he had uh, <clears throat> in the story, he said that when he went to the. Oh, Cliff had right, he, So, you know what I'm saying? Allegedly. Let me say allegedly. You, he had you cut I, off. You know, cut off. You got to say it again. Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> so allegedly, he says that when he signed with the breaks, right. he had a possession charge. Got it. And oh. so when he got with them, it was a family atmosphere and they stopped him from. Living that Being lifestyle streets, he was right. used to. Oh, right. oh, oh, well, he got to give it up then. He saved his soul too. Right. Exactly. Like facts. <laughs> and like, that's no, priceless. Well, I mean, he didn't, right? He, well, you he, know what I mean. He, he, I know what you mean. I'm just messing with you. I know. Yeah. What you mean. Nah, they held him accountable. He, yeah. yep. Yep. So, they and ultimately, they, they I mean, should he should be bigging them up. He should be bigging them up. But you know, it's the money thing. When you know that you could be making more money, because I'm I'm sure Soul Rebel still gets spins. That album was phenomenal. Oh yeah, right. Fire. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure it still gets spins. So I go in the roof line's pocket though. He was refreshing to hear. Definitely. Yeah, he was. And he's Somebody still nice. Was, I've heard some of his stuff, even yeah. though I don't follow him. I, I've heard some things. I'm like, yo, this dude's still nice. Like he still got it. Yep. Mm. Yep. So my thing is, what does this say for John Keith? What does this say for Paul Russell? And are we going to hear something from belief? You're right. Right. You know, the, the thing is, the thing, too, is, is like, man, like. Like, why not? Why not give Ruslan was due to him? Right. And of course, you know, we're all speculating because we haven't seen the contracts. Right. But he invest he invested in you. You know, what I mean, I feel like he deserves a piece of that action because. You know, if it was me. If I'm not putting up the money for any of that, for recording the album, to pay producers, to go on the road, to do any of that. If I'm not invested in myself, then I got to give up a cut. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, yeah. I got to do it. You know what I mean? Like, and, and like now, you know, times is different now when he signed, because he signed what, like 10 years ago? Yeah. Yeah. It was, <laughs> yeah. It was a while back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was a while back. Now, you know, we talking about John Keith and everybody else. Like, times are different now. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I've always questioned, like, what can a CHH label do for you that you can't do for yourself? Unless we're talking about like reach. That's the right, only one. Right. Well, I can't say only, but from the outside looking in, yeah. That's yeah. The only one that can do what you need a label to do. Right. Right. That and, and that's how I feel too. That's how I like aside from reach, I really can't see um unless I just don't have the bread to run my own ads and, and my you know my own marketing mm -hmm. and my own tours then it makes sense to sign with some of these smaller labels. But the reality is, is like, like even, even, even some of these, some of these other, um, these newer labels, like they're doing digital distribution. Like, how is that different than distro kit? Like, what are you, what are you, what are you doing for me? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, they're besides like, piece of the pie. right, right. Like, and I don't understand, I don't understand it. And maybe, maybe people listening can, 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 uh, can comment, you know what I mean? Can, can, can respond in the comments because I really don't understand why. Maybe. Maybe they're agent. just not educated enough to know what to do to take the steps. You and you pay a saying? price for that. You know what I mean? You got to give up a cut right. for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah it comes know? with the territory. Sometimes yeah. people just don't know how to, yo, how do I run an ad on Google? How do I run an ad on YouTube and right. stuff like that? You know what I mean? Like you let ask me, uh, me and I send you a YouTube link. Let me, <laughs> or I take, me, I, take uh, your, I take your publishing for, five, uh, for, for three years. <laughs> and I just want to clarify what I said at the beginning. Um, I mean, I was right, but just to give more insight, it was a drug possession case with an uh, intent to sell and burglary. Wow. wow. Mm, okay. That's some serious time. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, he, you like you said, it. like you said, and he does owe him that. I mean, he yeah. owe both of them, rather. Right. That's big because, yeah. I mean, what contract would you have if they let you down that path? You know? Right. None. And it's what he said. I mean, he pretty much he said that, like, they mm. stopped me from living that lifestyle. So, um, but when it's money involved, you know, like we say, Reach Records, we, you know, I'm not Reach Records, but Rapzilla, you know, we kind of laughed about it. But essentially, if you are an artist reaching out to Rapzilla and you have nothing. Right. And they can put you in front of because they are the top media outlet in the genre. Right. I don't agree with them taking 50%. But essentially, owning a publishing for three years, I mean, that's not bad. Right. 
Right. And it's also your choice. It's your decision. Exactly. They're not forcing you. They're not forcing you. <laughs> I'm glad you, you saw their, their hundreds of thousands of followers. Right. You saw the playlist plays. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, when I, when I used to work for Rapzilla, one of the things that they used to say was, I can guarantee when, when SoundCloud was really popping and you submitted your music and said, okay, we can guarantee you, if you go through us, we guarantee you 2,000 plays or 2,000 right. streams. And they they did it. Right. right. That matters. Sure. Right. <clears throat> Absolutely. Not any artist could just come on and get 2,000 streams. Right. You got to exactly. give something up. You got exactly. to give something up. You know, and, and, exactly. and it, again, it's voluntary, you know? Like yep. you don't have to do it. Like the thing is, is like Facebook has a free ad course. Google has a free ad course. Anybody could take it. You know what I'm saying? Anybody could get certified on Google. I think Facebook, you have to pay. I think it's like a hundred dollars or something. Anybody could wow. do it. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't got a, the bread, that means you got time. A hundred dollars ain't even bad. Like it's really? Not, not to invest in yourself. Man. Right. Come on. But it's free on YouTube. You could go on YouTube right now and like, how do I run an ad on Spotify? How do I run an ad on YouTube? Very right. easy. You know what I mean? I ran Ten, an ad on YouTube because I went 10 to minute YouTube. video. Right. You know what I'm saying? 